Hey everyone, this is Wendy Rahilly, and I wanted to talk with you today real quick about procrastination and give you a few tips that you can follow to hopefully overcome it uh, quickly so that you can start uh, building your business more effectively, okay? Um, procrastination was uh, one of the biggest things that I struggled with, especially when I was first starting out in network marketing. And I think it had a lot to do with... Um, you know, my fear of the unknown, uh, connecting with people was just like a, for me, you know, I just, I, I was shy and just scared to make those connections. So a lot of the times what happens when people are, are scared and they have a fear of, you know, prospecting and recruiting and things like that and their business, they tend to not do it at all. Okay. Um, They'll, they'll find other things like the, you know, find busy work, like sending emails and, you know, surfing the internet and things like that to fill their time. So that way, you know, okay, at, you know, when they're finally done doing that, they, they left themselves no time to actually, you know, do the activity that they, that they were scared of in the first place. Okay, so I think that's one big thing with procrastination that a lot of people struggle with. The other thing is just a plain old, they just don't feel like, you know, getting busy that day. They don't feel like doing anything. They'd rather just, you know, laze around the house and, you know, because it's so easy to do that when you're working from your home, you know. Um, a lot of entrepreneurs don't take the time um, to make a schedule for themselves each day. Um, like you have a schedule for work, you know, you know there's a certain amount, you know, a certain time that you have to be there and work until, and that's how it is every day. But a lot of entrepreneurs don't actually give themselves a schedule, so they have nothing really to, to go by. So it's, so it's too easy to just not do anything, you know, and find other things to do uh, rather than, you know, do the, the actions that it takes to build your business. So that's another uh, thing that people struggle with when it comes to, uh, procrastination in their business. So, okay, so the first thing I want to give you as a tip is, number one, what you want to do is you want to write down, um, you want to write down what you plan to do that day, okay? What are your activities that you want to get done for that day? Now, you can write this down the night before you go to bed, um, or, you know, the, the night before you plan to do these activities when you go to bed, or you can write it down um, that following morning when you get up. But first thing, you want to have it down on a piece of paper, okay? You don't want this stuff in your head cluttered up with everything else that you have to worry about for that day. You just want to, when, when you write it down, it gets it out of your head, and then you have something to just look at. And then you can just, you know, plug off your tasks one by one as you do it. It's a lot easier that way, I promise. Okay, number two is... Um, this is another big one. A lot of people, if they're not motivated or they don't have the energy that day to do something, you know, to do what they're supposed to do to build their business, instead of just doing it, they, they don't, you know. And, you know, we're all human. Not, we're not always going to have motivation. We're not always going to feel like uh, plugging away at our business every day. And that's understandable because um, I know I don't always feel like doing what needs to be done. I'd rather some, you know, sit down, watch TV all day or, you know, go do something else. But um, what makes the difference between the people that are successful and the people that are not are the successful people do it anyways. Okay, so... Um, if you're not feeling motivated or energetic, you know, not really enthusiastic about doing, you know, building, taking the actions to build your business that day, that's okay. Um, forgive yourself, release it, and try either A, to find something to motivate you, like maybe listen to a half hour of audio, some sort of motivational audio, um, or read a couple chapters of a personal development book, or just give your, uh, your upline a, a call, you know, one of your team members a call. And have a quick power call for like 10 minutes or something, you know, to get you in the mood to and get you pepped up to start working your business. But if for any reason, you know, if you try all that stuff and it doesn't work, that's fine. You know, you're human, so don't don't beat yourself up over it. <clears throat> but worse, don't not do anything, okay? So um, if you're feeling yuck and you don't feel like building your business, that's fine, you know. It's, it's okay that you feel that way. But what you need to do is you need to push through that feeling. You need to do that activity, you know, your activities for the day anyway, regardless of how you feel. Because what this is going to do is it's going to um, 
obviously get what you need done, get it done, but it's also, the, you know, it might actually spark some motivation in you as you're taking the actions, and then it won't be so bad. But at least you're getting what you need to get done, okay? So very important. Just um, don't let that kind of um, mindset stop you from getting done what you need to do in your business. Okay, and number three. <clears throat> Now, some people might disagree with me on this, but this seems to work for me, so I'm going to list it as a, a tip that I find that helps. But do what do the hard stuff first. Do what you really don't want to do that day first. So if it's making prospecting phone calls, you know, I uh, suppose you have a few people you need to call for your business, and you really, you know, you just, that's you don't, not a big, you know, that's something that you don't like to do. Uh, do that first. Get it out of the way, and then go to the other activities that you have to take that are a little bit easier. So, if, um, you know, whatever it is that's making you procrastinate in the first place, there's always usually something that's on your list of to do. You know, to do things that is really sticking out at you. That it's like, mm, I just don't feel like doing this today. Do that first and get it out of the way because then you're going to feel so much better. And actually, it's probably going to motivate you to get everything else done. Okay, so there you have it. Number one, write down what you need to do for that day. Make sure you have it on a piece of paper. Get it out of your head. Number two, uh, regardless of how you feel, what your mindset is for that day, whether it be uh, you know lack of motivation, no energy, not feeling too well, whatever you know. Unless of course you're really sick. Obviously, you don't want to work if you're really sick. But if you're not sick and you just have that blah feeling, do it anyway because chances are it's going to kick you into uh, more high energy gear. And number three, do what you don't want to do first. So whatever's really itching at you for why you don't feel like doing, you know, the work for your business that day, do that first, get it out of the way, okay? And that way that frees the rest of your day up to um, get the other things done that are a little bit easier. Okay, well, that concludes this video. I hope, you know, you've got some kind of uh, help out of it, and I will catch you on the next video. Take care.